The community we serve is geographically little. We're talking about some 73,000 people. Great uh, cultural diversity. So on one public housing estate, there are over 60 languages spoken. A lot of people living very closely who really do have a, a variety of challenges that face them, whether it be mental illness, uh, family violence, uh, family breakdown. And what we are trying to do always is to try and bring a modicum of working together, of respectful interaction, of uh, a peaceable understanding amongst people so that resolution is always at the forefront of what we do. I think that the NJC has established itself as a very viable and well-functioning court. So the evaluation that's been undertaken has confirmed the benefit that the community is getting from that and the efficacy of the model. Well, the NJC, we have in fact been open for five years almost to the day. And when we first started, I think it's true to say we didn't have a great deal of understanding about what the job was that we had to do. But we did have this notion that it was about trying to bring the law back to the village. And I think now after five years that we've got a, a really much greater understanding of our village, but also that we're really a part of it. It's time, it's time for us to test what we've learned with others and to ask if, if other uh, workers, uh, judicial members in the broader justice system uh, will be part of that discussion and maybe look at piloting some work. One of the things I've spent a lot of time doing is talking to my colleagues in the Magistrates Court around what a registrar at the Neighbourhood Justice Centre does uh, and trying to open people's minds up to being able to uh, work with such a vast range of uh, clinicians and stakeholders within the court and engaging them in the court process. Hopefully over time some of that will permeate within to the wider magistrates court as a, as a whole and, and the Naval Justice Centre is doing a lot of work around ensuring that happens. I've always tried to encourage registrars to take positions at the Naval Justice Centre even if it is just for a couple of months or so because it gives you a real insight into how uh, registry work can have an impact on the experience of people that are going through court. I suppose from an overarching sort of level, a federal and state level, um, and a lot of policies that aim to, to basically take a lot of the pressure off courts. You know, they can be more be beneficial for getting people through the court, um, making the courts more efficient. That can stray away from the therapeutic principles that the NJC sort of looks towards. There are these restorative and community engagement initiatives that can be done within traditional court settings. Um, it's just the NJC provides I suppose a, a better base for that because of the support networks around them and the people involved. When Magistrate Fleming came and worked at the NJC, filling in for our Magistrate while he was on holidays, we had these discussions about how little she felt she had in resourcing and how richly resourced we were at the Neighbourhood Justice Centre, which is quite true. And I was saying, well, we want to help. What can we do to help? They said they could send us um, a community engagement officer, a worker, uh, which they did. And it just started from there, just from people all having a conversation about what the issues were. And it's just been the most remarkable journey and really exciting. It's um, and touching that you know this community is going to get help. It's, it's, it's quite extraordinary. I'm really passionate about this role and this is uh, what I we are looking forward to um, contribute uh, positive change um, for this community. Uh, so and I believe through the support that I'm getting now from NJC, from New Hope and from the um, Denon Court here, we could achieve uh, more um, than you can imagine.